Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial on how to preview changes to a Carpentries lesson using your GitHub um, pages on your local, on your personal fork of a Carpentries lesson. This tutorial is intended for Carpentries lesson maintainers or other contributors to a Carpentries lesson who are familiar with the GitHub interface and would prefer to make and preview changes using the GitHub interface rather than working locally and using um, the Bash shell and Jekyll. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating using the library carpentry introduction to the Unix Bash shell lesson. So I have that repository open on my screen here. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a fork of this lesson repository, which will create a copy of all of the files that are present in this repository and save those in my personal GitHub account. So I'm going to click on the fork button over in the upper right hand corner and then I'm going to choose my personal account to fork that lesson repository. It'll take just a moment to go through that process. Now you'll see we are in my personal account, Aaron Becker, uh, and the repository has been copied over uh, and it has the same name as the original lesson repository. This gives me a copy of all of the files so that I can make changes without having to worry about how that is going to affect the live lesson that people may be teaching from at any particular moment. So I'm going to make just one change and then show you how that can be rendered uh, and previewed. So I'm going to go into the episodes folder here and select one of these episodes. I'm going to select the second episode here, navigating the file system. To make a change to this file, I'm going to click the pencil icon. Uh, and then I am going to uh, scroll down and I'm just going to add a new exercise. The syntax for the lessons is not part of this tutorial, so please check out the lesson styles repository, lesson example repository, which I will link in this video. Um, if you're interested in more details on how the syntax uh, and formatting for these lessons work. Uh, so I'm going to include a new exercise. I'll say exercise name. We would want to give it uh, an informative name. Uh, and I'll say this is an exercise about creating a new directory. Uh, and then I'll put the challenge tag on it which should cause that chunk of text to be formatted as an exercise. If I click on preview changes, you'll see the native GitHub rendering, um, which is not the same as what would show up on the lesson page. Uh, and this is not necessarily informative enough for me to know that this is going to render properly on the lesson page. So this is why I'm not going to rely on this uh, GitHub native preview. I'm going to actually scroll down and I'm going to commit my changes. I'm going to give it uh, an informative name like add exercise about maker. Uh, and if the change was extensive, I would add a more extended description. Because this is my own personal fork, um, my own personal work on my own personal GitHub account, I'm going to go ahead and commit directly to the GH Pages branch rather than creating a pull request. I'm going to commit those changes. Um, those changes have now been made and should appear on the GitHub Pages rendered version of my fork. Um, so to see those and go into the settings, 
and now under the GitHub Pages section, it should say the URL where my lesson is rendered. Um, that will be at your username.github.io um, backslash and then the name of the repository. And if I click on that, I will see I'm now in my personal copy of this lesson. Let's check and make sure that that new exercise appears in the second episode. And if I scroll down, I see it here. This is my uh, new exercise. Now that I'm confident that it appears the way I intended it to appear, I can go back to my GitHub pages branch on my fork and create a pull request in this pull request button here. Um, I can make a new pull request and it's going to automatically choose the GH pages fork for that uh, pull request. I can create that pull request and it would then show up on the official lesson um, pull request page. So that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining. Uh, and if you have any questions about this process or the process of contributing to Carpentry's lessons in general, please contact team at carpentries.org. I'll put that also as a link on the video. Thank you, everyone.